M0FXB, just thought I'd do a video on the ICOM 7610. I've always thought this is a fantastic looking radio. I haven't got one. I've got an ICOM 7300 and a 705. This one's a bit big for me. I mean, look at the screen. It's just lovely. So we look at their leaf, their leaflet here. Um, so uh, these are a good, like, good £3,000 in the UK. And even second hand, they go for over 2000 I would say. So RF direct sampling takes you to the next level. So it's, it's going to be a... Of course, it's an SDR transceiver. I don't really know much about it. But um, whether it's poor band conditions or battling to pick out a core in a large pileup, faint signals have always been challenging, blah, blah, blah. So obviously, your antenna is everything on a HF radio. Um, we can cheat with our hotspots, and uh, um, we can do okay with our collinears on the roof, direct line. But you've got to work with a HF radio. You've got to work at it. Uh, a bit you know regarding your antenna setup but I think most of us know that it does allow look here external monitor which is nice so have a look see what you think I'll put the links in the description um, I mean it's like having uh, this is just me you know saying two ICOM 7300s in one but the signal meter is is slightly different. They've got the, this sort of curved, looks like a real live meter. Lots of buttons to twiddle with on the front, as you can see. I think we recognize most most of what they do. Two, US, two USB here. Um, SD card, I'm guessing that's good for firmware and for the storing memories. Dual watch, so you, effectively you could be listening to four bands at the same time, is that correct? My guess, separate SDR. Um, waterfalls displays direct keypad on the front for the different bands antennas one and two preamps attenuators noise reduction noise blanker built-in tuner it says tuner here uh, 100 watt radio I would say this is so I just think if you had this, you would, and you really, and you use HF a lot, and you've got a good antenna setup, you're going to love this radio. And um, right, let's just look at else what I've got. The oh, that's the main thing. They have a good read here. Uh, independent dual receiver. GG select for main subbands. Obviously, FT8 things like that. It's going to be all ready for this. You're not going to need any special interface. Direct sampling, SDR, digital up conversion, built-in tuner, 7-inch display, dual receivers, audio scope. Let's read this. this dual reception on different bands and does the high-speed, high-resolution spectrum scopes, whether watching for a band operating. There you go. USB port, SD card slot, signal output. So look, there's some technical things here that you can have a look at. I'll put all these links in the description. Obviously, uh, the manual is extensive. So just the manual is nice to look at. I had a look at the manual already. All these different interfaces on the back. You've got a LAN, Ethernet connector, X. Yeah, that would be your display, your external monitor. Number 10, what's that? USB port 2. So there's two USB like the printer style ones. That's interesting. I didn't know I had two. Connects to a PC for digital data input or output. Didn't know that. Uh, external speakers. Looks like you've got two. Two antennas. Ground, power, usual power, usual tuner type connector there. And there's your display. So look at all that. Very appealing. Touch touch screen as well. Voice recording. You use your sort of grid type um, selectors for functions, which is very nice. I mean, I really like my seven three hundred. Um, so this would just be amazing if I had an uh, you know excellent antenna setup. You know, I would definitely go for one of these and uh, probably pay for it gradually, though. <laughs> uh, so, anyway, dual watch, just go. So, 
lots to look at. So yeah, I'm definitely a fan. A bit jealous of people that own it. Right, well, kids are here now, so I'll have to end it. So lots of downloads, driver updates, firmware updates, all there. eBay, I'm just showing that even on eBay, here's one over 3,300. I'm sure there's second-hand ones. And then I think a lot of the main sellers, like Moonraker and Martin Lynch in the UK, have got them around the 3,000 pound mark. So that's it, really. So 7-3. Um, thanks for watching and um, I think it's, uh, it looks like a fantastic radio and I'm jealous of anyone that owns one 7-3, all the best, M0FX, be clear